acrylic versus watercolor, which is better? Both paints have similarities, including being water soluble. There's a wide range of colors available. Products for each type of paint are readily available in most parts of the world. You can do a beautiful painting with either one. It's the differences between the paint that will help you decide which is better for you. Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Shanna Kramer and I teach watercolor and acrylic painting through Creatively Uncorked. Stick around till the end of this video for your free download of a color mixing chart that works with any type of paint. Let's start with the basics. With watercolor, it's activated by water. You can buy paint that's either in a tube or in a pan dried out. You can paint on either watercolor paper or any surface that is prepared with absorbent ground. Acrylic paint is also water soluble. Acrylic paint dries quickly and it dries permanently. That's good for your canvas, it's bad for your brushes and bad for your clothing. You can paint on a canvas, which is most common or any type of a gessoed surface or a primed surface. Very smooth surfaces will not work with acrylic. Like glass, it'll just come right off or it'll wash off in the water. And hey, if you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and consider sharing this video. It helps YouTube to know what you wanna watch and it will help other people like you see this video. Which type of painting is easier to learn, acrylic or watercolor? Acrylic paint is known as one of the easiest types of paint that you can use. Anyone, any age can use acrylic paint and be okay with it. Acrylic paint dries quickly. You can paint over mistakes. You can reuse your canvas over and over. Just put a coat of gesso between your paintings and keep going. The paint brushes are inexpensive, which is good because they're easily damaged or have paint dried in them and need to get thrown out frequently. Painting style with acrylic, you can paint either light to dark or dark to light. You have so much flexibility with it. Beginning acrylic painters can complete an entire painting in one to two hours, even if they've never painted before. Check out our membership and there are several videos. I'll walk you right through it. Watercolor, on the other hand, is one of the most challenging mediums to learn. Mistakes are not easily corrected. Your paintings have to be planned out from the start. When you do your sketch on your paper, Make sure that you have all of your highlights marked out because you can't add white later. Your white is the white of the paper. If you make a mistake in a watercolor painting that can't be corrected, then you can just flip your paper over and paint on the other side. Once your paper has been painted on both sides, maybe you wanna cut up that paper and use it in a multimedia piece. When painting with watercolor, you're painting light to dark, building up in layers, typically three or more layers. You'll wanna keep in mind the properties of each color. For example, some of the colors are granulating or slightly more opaque, while other colors are very transparent and very pure. And you'll want to be careful how you mix each of those to make sure it's getting the reaction that you're after. Watercolor paint brushes are way more expensive. They generally start around $15 a piece and go up. So you want to take very good care of your watercolor brushes. Never use them for anything but watercolor. There are simple watercolor paintings and simple watercolor techniques that can be learned quickly and done by anyone. Watercolor paints are used with small children, typically because of the ease of cleanup. If you want to get really good at watercolor painting, then that's something that's going to take years of practice. What about different types of paint, which is easier to work with? With watercolor, you have a choice of either tube colors or pan colors. With acrylic paint, you have fluid, soft body, medium body, heavy bodied acrylic paint, and you can even get a slow dry golden open paint, which behaves very similar to oil paints, but without the toxicity. What about extending your paint, which has more mediums? A painting medium is something that you add to your paint to give your paint a different property for a different type of painting. Acrylic paints, for example, have an almost infinite number of mediums available. Anything that you wanna do with acrylic paint there's a medium for that. You can get mediums that will help change the texture, that will cause it to dry slower, dry faster. You can even thin out your acrylic paint with the mediums to the point that it works almost like watercolor, only it will still dry permanent. Watercolor, there are only a few mediums. There's an oxgall medium, granulating mediums that you can use with granulating paints. If you know of any other watercolor mediums or tell me what your favorite acrylic medium is, put a comment below. I really want to see what your favorite is. Don't forget, coming up here pretty soon is going to be the link for your free download. How about displaying your finished artwork? With acrylic paint, if you paint on a stretched canvas, a small enough stretched canvas, uh, you can just hang that canvas right on the wall with a push pin. You can also frame your canvases, of course. 
Your watercolor paintings can be framed under glass or plexiglass. Check with your local framer for options. Which type of paint is more portable, acrylic or watercolor? And when I say portable, I mean, if you're going to go paint outside or take your paints with you on vacation, which one should you pack? Acrylic paint can be heavy. You'll have to carry multiple tubes of paint and it's in liquid form, so it's typically going to have some weight to it. It also dries very quickly. So if you put your colors out on your palette and you're outside painting in the wind, that paint can dry up very quickly before you even get a chance to use it. Your acrylic paint brushes will need to be cleaned right away to keep the paint from drying in them and ruining them. Are you bringing a stretched canvas, which can be easily damaged in transport? Are you using canvas board? What are you using for an easel? What are you using for a palette? All of these things are going to factor in. Watercolor, on the other hand, is very lightweight. Uh, you can have your palettes ready. You can put a couple of brushes with your palettes. You just need a few supplies beyond that. A little bit of water, possibly a towel or a sponge. Paper is very lightweight. And that's really all you need if you're going to be watercolor painting on the go. So which is better for you, acrylic or watercolor? Leave your comments, let me know what you think. Personally, I like acrylic better for doing a quick sketch painting, like my 10 minute paintings that are on my YouTube channel, or if I'm just going to do a class, it's an hour or two for a new painter. Typically those are going to be in acrylic. I do paint and sip type events and those are always acrylic. On the other hand, I like watercolor better for its beauty. It's got a light and a transparency and, a, and just a glow that you can't really get with any other type of paint. So which is better for you, watercolor or acrylic? Let me know in the comments. Here's the part you've all been waiting for, I know it. Your free download, here is the link right here. Go ahead and click it. I'll also put a link in the comments below. This is going to take you to your free download, your color chart, and that's something that's going to help you mix any color in any kind of paint. You can visit our website at creativelyuncorked.com or check out our memberships at creativejustlive.com. Coming up in the next video, we're going to compare some acrylic paints and which one might work best for you.